Welcome once again to the Reptile Party's YouTube channel and part two of our video unboxing some cool animals. So we met some cool lizards uh, the other day in our YouTube video, and uh, this is part two. Now we didn't just get lizards, uh, we got lizards and we got frogs. No snakes in this one, but uh, I'm excited about what we got. And these guys are super cute. Um, we're definitely going to be increasing our amphibian uh, options, but check these guys out. So these are called big-eyed tree frogs. Uh, they are babies cute and little. Uh, they're found in Africa and they get the name because they have big eyes. So they're found in, in uh, southwestern Africa uh, and they're a tree frog. A lot of the frogs you see uh, and that you get from Africa are, uh, are terrestrial. Most commonly the pixie frog, uh, aka the African bullfrog. Uh, pretty excited to, to raise these guys up and get them set up in a nice little, uh, little setup and you know moss and dirt and plants, fake plants and stuff and uh, watch them grow and develop. Now, these are not the only frogs uh, that we got that are African. Um, I'm quite, uh, quite curious. He's packed this up interestingly. Um, it's in a bag inside a container. This might end up being a little house of pain and jumping. did this because it's would be able to push its way out of the container. Have some water in there as well. The glamour of unpacking things. Let's see. Hi. for me. It is burrowing his way in. Oh wow. He doesn't want to come out. Come on. Wow. <laughs> and there he goes. Ah, uh, live animals. Uh, yeah, he hopped away and uh, so we caught him. And uh, so yeah, uh, aptly named, this is called the Apopo Slippery Frog, uh, also called a Giant Frog. Um, there's not a lot of info about these guys, uh, so uh, I'm going to be doing some more research on them. I know how to set them up and everything, but uh, uh, I'll definitely do a full video on him uh, coming up because uh, they're really cool frogs. I'm going to do my, my a Giant Frog video. That's all I do, other new frogs, but... Yeah, he just hopped right away, Enjoy working with animals, but uh, I'm going to pop him away and let's see what else we got. Alright, uh, let's wrap this up with a couple more lizards. Uh, this next one is really cool. They're all really cool. Um, this one's neat because it's not necessarily what you think it is when you first... 
ever see it. Uh, this is called a Western Banded Gecko. And so you're looking at this and probably thinking it's a leopard gecko. Of course, leopard geckos are very, very popular as pets. Uh, this is not a leopard gecko. It is a close relative and they live in similar desert environments. But this guy here is actually found in uh, the United States, southern U.S., as well as down into Mexico. Uh, they have a lot of similar adaptations to the leopard gecko uh, with their color pattern. They have eyelids like a lot of geckos ha don't, uh, don't have, but the terrestrial ones like the fat tails and leopard geckos do. Uh, they hunt and eat bugs, and even the way they reproduce is very similar to leopard geckos. So uh, it's, it's kind of challenging uh, with, with what we do. Uh, there's not a lot of choices, great choices, for lizards that are North American in terms of outreach. Uh, or even as pets, a lot of them are either really, really fast, like anoles or blue-tailed skinks, uh, or they're really big, like green iguanas. So these guys get around leopard gecko sized as well. So I'm really excited to be able to uh, have another North American species to teach people about at our live programs. All right, so we had North America, we had frogs from Africa, uh, lizards from Africa, uh, yeah, pretty much all Africa and North America, but we are gonna wrap up with, uh, with African, African lizards. <laughs> so it's kind of like a Mayan case there. John did a very good job of tying these up. <laughs> I want to get like my genuine reaction to seeing them, but at the same time they get all this. There we go. So a lot of people love seeing reptiles or remind them of dinosaurs. Well, uh, I have some pretty dinosaurish animals here. Like wow, it's like a living, like a living ankylosaurus. So these are Sudan plated lizards uh, found in the Sudan in Africa, and uh, you can see how they get their name because their scales are. Uh, overlapping and it's like plates. Um, these guys are probably fully grown as a male and a female. I'm not sure which is which, so I'm going to find that out. Uh, wow. They're so prehistoric looking. They're so cool. I'm just, yeah, drawn in by them. Uh, wow. And really calm too. Am I just because of the move or it might be because of uh, their natural how they're going to be. We'll find out as we work with handling them. But yeah, these are our Sudanese or Sudan plated lizards. And my box is empty. I think that's, that's plenty uh, for, for one, one batch of new critters to arrive. Um, so yeah, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button, please give us a subscribe. It's a great way to support us. Uh, watching our videos every hour that uh, our videos get watched uh, helps us. Uh, we're so close to being able to monetize the channel, and that's going to be, again, massively huge to, to helping us uh, with our plants, with facility, with um, our feeding our animals. Uh, you know, we're taking on more mouths to feed, but fortunately, uh, here in Alberta, uh, we are stepping into phase two at the time of this video. Uh, the plan is to be fully open by the end of June. Uh, we'll see. I'm crossing my fingers but it's been a really long, rough uh, year and a half. And now we're at the, uh, at the end. I know a lot of our American viewers are getting back to life and getting back to things, and that's awesome. Uh, looking forward to that happening here because uh, we've missed so much. So all of our links below, we have classes on OutSchool. You can check those out and meet some of these guys uh, live on screen. We do private videos, either uh, chats one-on-one -on -one. if you want to learn about some of these animals yourself in individual programs. Uh, we have uh, we do virtual programs for schools, we do virtual programs for guides, cubs, pretty much anything. So if you're interested in checking that out, check out all of our links below. 
hit that subscribe button and sign up for our Patreon. Just three bucks, six bucks, or ten bucks Canadian a month, and you get first shot of looking at our YouTube. We're gonna be instituting discounts on some of our products in the near future. It's gonna be basically like a fan club for this uh, this facility that we're working on. So, uh, in the meantime, uh, yeah, that's everything for this week. We'll see you next time.